What is going on guys? The Dipper is all gaming with my review of Naruto chapter 679 and this chapter, holy crap, I cannot believe that Kaguya is actually back. Well obviously, you know, it was definitely hinted that she would be coming back, but I had no idea that Madara would go out that way. That right there was like definitely surprising because Madara is such a cunning character, you would think that he'll have someone to get out of this, but sadly that right there was definitely not the case this time now maybe Madara will come back but if that right there was the end of him I definitely feel bad for the guy but this chapter itself it got this pretty awesome color page I am definitely digging that unlike this like red little dragon that we have like Akashi as a mage is like freaking hilarious because his face is still covered up and that right there made me like laugh my ass off but the chapter itself it starts off where where we see uh, Madara, he's now screaming in pain, obviously, and, so and Sasuke, he, he notices that all the shadow Madaras that were surrounding them, they have now disappeared, and so out of nowhere, we have, like, this, this explosion going on right now, which is pure chakra, and they actually blast our characters away, and we see now that all their chakra, it, 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 like, it's to the point where it's actually visible, we see now that Madara is actually absorbing that chakra right now, and we see that his body is actually, you know, changing and becoming, you know, rather rather deformed. And so now Naruto actually states that this chakra right here, it is actually greater than a ten tail chakra. And we see right now Sasuke definitely wants to act quickly, and he tells Naruto that they must stop him now. And so right when they actually charge in, because we have Naruto, he like dashing, and we know Naruto definitely has that speed. But but we see Sasuke, all he had to do is just teleport, and I'm definitely digging that. I am so glad that, you know, that they're coming into the powers. But sadly, digging that they could not do anything, because we see, like, there's white hair. It is now wrapping around their bodies, and we see now that uh, Kaguya, because th that's who it is, obviously, she was planning on absorbing their chakra as well. And so we have Sakura thinking she could do something, and I'm, I'm glad I'm glad Akashi, you know, stopped her because that right there would have been a waste. There is nothing Sakura could do if, if Naruto and Sasuke, you know, could do anything. But now we see that they're trapped. But but we see now that, that they got the Black Zetsu. He actually says that Kaguya won't kill anybody, and she actually plans on making these people into, you know, her soldiers. And I was definitely shocked to see that yeah, the Black Zetsu, he actually bought up Itachi, so I do wonder, did Itachi know about all this as well? Like, maybe Itachi knew about Kaguya, and that right there, you know, would have been a real shock. But now we see that the, that the other people in the Infinite Tsukuyomi, they will actually be turning into White Zetsus, and that right there... I, I did not think that would happen because Madara said, you know, like, back when we first saw him and Obito, you know, when, like, Madara took care of them, he said that the White Zetsus, they were, like, failed clones of, of, of uh, Hashirama, but we actually learned that they really are the result of people being the infinite Tsukuyomi. They're, they're just, like, like hollow hooking themselves, and that would be a shocking. And so, so these like panels where we see Mara body, you know, swelling up, it was definitely, you know, kind of creepy. But now we see that Mara is definitely no more, and the Black Zetsu, it is now, you know, like consume Mara's body. And we see Obito, who we all know is dead, he now fell to the ground lifeless. But now we see Madara, he actually became Kaguya, and she is now revived, and that right there is pretty freaking crazy. And so we have everybody, you know, looking at, looking at, looking at her in awe, and we see that when she actually tries to absorb Naruto and Sasuke's chakra, the sun and the moon, you know, symbols on their hands, it actually starts glowing, and if she cannot absorb them, so she actually throws them away. But like in an instant now, she appears before Sakura, but it's kind of like she's, she's ignoring her, but she actually does speak saying that, you know, that they should be alright now. And we see that that she uses her uh, Byakuyan to look at them, and she was thinking that, that they were her sons, but it's actually, you know, her grandchildren, you know, reincarnations. And so this panel of her using the Byakugan and, you know, with that Sharingan running on, you know, like in the middle, that right there, you know, it that that would really make it look so intimidating and so terrifying. I definitely say Kaguya is, like e even though she's definitely beautiful, she she can be terrifying as well. But I do wonder, you know, now that Kaguya is back, I wonder if somebody will like bring out the Deputy Brazil because we all know that that right there looks exactly like her. I wonder if that, if that jutsu 
will be possible now that, that she is brought back because it's possible that it could still be her body, you know, like left behind because obviously right now she's like using Madara's body. And so Sasuke was like looking at her and I'm guessing he was like looking at her chakra and he was saying that, you know, it's completely different from her Madara and he had no idea how somebody like, like this could exist because obviously she has so much right now. And so we see Obito once again, we all know he's dead and Kakashi, you know, looked at him for a moment, but obviously he, he, he not focused on him, you know, like for too long because they have Kaguya right there. And so now we have Kaguya not wanting to fight anymore because she had no intention of causing any more damage to the earth because, because apparently she called her her precious nursery. And so now she wants to end this fight with them. And so like somehow, some way, she actually teleported everyone to like this like lava pit, like kind of, kind of like a volcano, like a, a volcano. And I have no idea how she did it. Like maybe, maybe she, like, uh, like, like Sasuke. She can also teleport, but because she, she, she's so much more, much more powerful, she can teleport herself and, uh, and a lot of people, and obviously her distance is going to be, you know, a lot more advanced than the Sasuke as well. But but now now we see Naruto, uh, Naruto, Sasuke, Kakashi, Sakura. Well, maybe these two, you know, are falling. It's possible that Kaguya is, you know, holding them up. But obviously, she, she does want to give it a Naruto and Sasuke. So she plans so she planned on dropping them into the lava itself. So that would be it where the chapter ends. And like I said, this chapter I actually like it. Even though I felt bad for Madara, Kaguya coming in there and you know like now being our final villain, it is actually pretty freaking impressive. So I would give the chapter at least like like a seven out of ten. But of course I would love to get your guys' thoughts on this, so please leave me some comments because of course I will reply to them as well. But as always, don't forget to like the video and subscribe because that really helps me out. And you guys take it easy. I will see you all next time.